Hey guys, Al here, and today I have a nice little unboxing video for you again. Now, OS X Mavericks, or OS X 10.9, is due to be released in a week or two, and I got these little items in preparation for it. Now, let's go straight in and open it up and see what I got, shall we? There, it just arrived about half an hour ago. Alright. Let's open this up. Don't want to damage the box too much in case I need to send anything back. But hopefully that won't happen. You'll have to excuse the lighting. It's awfully dark today. Very overcast. Okay, so there's the insides. There's my shipping docket. Put that out of the way, and here we go, my three little items. Just take them out. Get rid of this box quickly. And there we have them. Now, the coup de gras, one of the most important things for me. Solid state hard drive. It's a Samsung 840 Evo, 250 gig. And that is perfect for a new operating system. 3 year warranty and it's a 6 gigabit one which means it's a SATA 3 interface. Now if you have a Mac Pro like me or any Mac Pro you'll know that they only have SATA 2 interfaces or 3 gigabits a second which means you're not going to get full speed which is kind of a bit of a worry. But there is a solution and that is one of these. It's made by Apricorn. It's a PCI Express card that you attach to your solid state hard drive and that plugs into the computer solid state bus or should I say SATA bus and then you have full speed performance up to 6 gigabits a second which is around 580 to 600 megabytes a second. Now the last bit is a USB 3 SanDisk USB 3 little memory stick. Now what do I need this for? Well, if you've got an operating system that you need to install, Apple don't do, you know, disks anymore or things like that. You have to download it through the App Store. Now, I want to use this to make a bootable drive, plug it in, and then install the new operating system when it's out. I might show you how to do it, but it does take an awful long time, so we'll see how that goes. Now, let's open this, the nice little solid state drive, and see what's in the packaging. Trust the old scissors. Just cut the tape there. Don't want to cut too deep. There we go. Oops! Oh no! It was on the other side. Well, there's the solid state disc. Awfully small, awfully thin. You can see the little screws right there. SATA and power. More screws, and right there. Nice and small, nice and light. Drop didn't actually damage it, because it's a solid state, no mechanical bits. Let's see what's in the packaging, shall we? That's on the back here. We have a disc with some software, one stop navigation, manual. Don't really need that. Move that out of the way. Installation guide, which is meaningless for me considering how I'm gonna install mine. Ooh, what is that? Ah, little Samsung stickers, not going to use them, probably keep them around though. And uh, another booklet, loads of legal information in different languages. Nah, move that back out of the way, put that back there. And there's not much to this actually, you can see it data transfers up to 550 megabytes a second, and I use PCI Express 2. Bootable for Mac and PC, which is really important. Usually if you buy one of these at cards and you use it, the computer won't actually boot for that drive or it won't actually load your operating system if it's installed on that because it needs drivers and the drivers don't kick in until you've actually logged into Windows or OS X. It is compatible with all of those except first slot, which is speed number one. But I'm not worried about that. I won't be using that. There's actually nothing really in this. Well, there's not much to do that at all. 
there's the instructions on the inside here on how to install it. Yeah, slot in the card, screw it in and plug it in. Now the one thing that's nice is it does have a spare SATA port on it if you want to hook up another drive and it's right there along with the main drive which is for the solid state disk. Not much to that. I'll show you how to install all of that in the next video and then here we are with the USB 3 flash drive. Now everyone knows how these look but let's have a look at the SanDisk one. Now, the SanDisk is what I had in my previous MacBook Pro for a solid state drive from Apple instead of a Samsung. Let's see, that's about it. Nothing else. Quite empty. And there's the drive itself. Got more tape holding in place as well. They really get overzealous with these things sometimes. Oh no, it's it's actually glued. Well, let's cut it out. I'm gonna play with my memory stick. There is that. Press it forward. There you go. 16 gig. You only need about 8 for an operating system, but uh, I wanted to get some more considering the price difference was about a 5 euro for me. So, here we go. Fine. And that's about it. Hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. It's a bit of a mess right here with all the items everywhere. But I'll show you how to install these in the next video. I'm L. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.